Beijing is denying allegations by Washington that a Chinese fighter jet flew dangerously close to a U.S. surveillance plane off China's southern coast. This week's incident was about 220 kilometers east of China's Hunan Island. Joining us now with the latest is Nathan King from our newsroom. Nathan. That's right, Susan. The allegations were first made public on Friday. Poseidon Aircraft, uh, the Pentagon and the White House said one of their P-8 Poseidon surveillance aircraft was, quote, buzzed by a Chinese Su-27 jet 220 kilometers east of Hainan Island province. The U.S. Department of Defense says uh, that the Chinese jet conducted dangerous maneuvers, quote, flew within six meters of a U.S. Navy Poseidon and conducted what's called a barrel roll and made a point of showing its weapons on the underside of the plane. The U.S. actually filed a formal complaint with the Chinese. Now, Beijing has responded. In a statement Saturday from the Chinese Defense Ministry, it said uh, the U.S. complaints are totally groundless, that what happened was one U.S. anti-submarine plane and one patrol aircraft were uh, 220 kilometers off Hainan Island. A Chinese fighter took off to identify and verify uh, these planes. Chinese pilot kept within a safe distance, according to Beijing, from the U.S. aircraft. And they also said the U.S. should stop close-in surveillance uh, of China's co coast. On that last point, this has been a long-standing complaint of China that the U.S. conducts surveillance way too close to uh, uh, China's coast inside a maritime boundary known as an EEZ or exclusive economic zone. The U.S. maintains these areas in question are in international waters and airspace, but it is a big bone of contention between Washington and Beijing. Nathan, are these type of situations extremely dangerous, and how common are they actually? Well, yes, they, they can be dangerous because uh, they can lead to what's known in the military as misunderstandings and miscalculations. Remember back in 2001, there was that mid-air collision between a U.S. intelligence aircraft and a Chinese jet. Then, just a, in the same area, 100 or so kilometers from Hainan Island province, the Chinese pilot ejected and was actually killed. The U.S. craft had to make an emergency landing. 24 crew members were detained, and there was a big diplomatic standoff and back and forth, and the U.S. ended up apologizing. And remember last year, a U.S. ship, the Cowpens, was conducting surveillance of the new Chinese aircraft carrier in the same area, and the U.S. accused a Chinese ship of trying to ram it. So it still happens. And the U.S. and China have been trying to mitigate these sort of incidents, trying to establish better military-to-military -military ties in the last few years, and there has been some successes. And remember, China just participated with the U.S. in the Rim of the Pacific exercises together, but there is still distrust, especially when it comes to uh, U.S. surveillance so close to Chinese shores, Susan. Nathan King reporting live in the newsroom. Thank you for that. Thank you. Now to